Okay, for most of the trees we have a shut off valve, so we're gonna need a leader hose here, about a, just about a hand's breadth. So we're gonna cut a bunch of these for each tree. We're, we'll need one. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut that on each, uh, for this hose, make a bunch of cuts real quick. All right, on this one and most of the trees, I did a leader hose with a shutoff valve. Now, three of the trees, I don't have enough shutoff valve, so we're just gonna wire, hose them in directly. Uh, we'll probably use an elbow. It's just as a, I did put the leader hose on those even though I don't have the shutoff valve, so we'll probably just use the elbow and take it that way around the tree. That way we can come back with a shutoff valve, make a couple cuts and put the shutoff valve on later. We just won't be able to shut off those trees, which is not a big deal for now. But all the trees are done with this little leader hose and the shutoff valves, except for those three. Okay, I'm just flushing the lines. I'm gonna go through and turn all these off. Make sure that there's pressure at the next one. These are really open, so there's no back pressure. So some of them are not running because there's no pressure there. It's either here at the top or down where gravity is taking it to the end. So we'll turn these off and keep checking them. Right now we just want to purge these lines. So that's what we're focused on. Just making sure that they're all getting cleaned out and shut off to prevent anything from getting in there. But if there's not enough pressure, then it's not gonna uh, run out there. So we keep turning them off to get pressure to the next one just to check because there is no emitter hose to cap off the line and start emitting. So once we do the emitter hose on, we'll make sure that there's enough pressure on those two. Okay, this is the only tree that we have the emitter line on. The last three trees on our circuit <clears throat> do not have a shutoff valve, so we're losing some pressure there. But even with that, I still see water coming out these holes on the emitter. And we turned off all the shutoff valves. Everything's looking good. We flushed all the lines as well as possible. Uh, so we'll come back um, tomorrow and put all the, the rest of the emitter lines on. What I want to do though is, since I have this table here, is just to mount this in some fashion to take the pressure off of most of the joints. I think we're, what we're going to try is we're going to drill a little hole, put a, um, a bicycle hook in, and uh, see if we can uh, just kind of hold the hold the timer with that. It doesn't have to really hold much weight to just take the weight off so that there's less pressure on the all the uh, the fittings there. Last time we ran the water, we did get uh, quite a bit of leaking here where the hose meets the timer. So, and then we're going to come back with our pipe thread and seal up that timer connection so let's do that let's get this thing started let's try 7 30 seconds all right looking good so in theory we could just come around here and probably let's try it this way first This uh, filter is hitting on there. Let's try it this way just in case. There we go. That kind of works. There's no weight on here. Uh, I tightened up all these fittings yesterday, so the really the only thing left is to seal up this one. Hopefully, we get no leaks after that. Okay. Let's hope that this 
doesn't leak nearly as badly as it did yesterday. We know it works, so let's go ahead and wrap up putting all the emitter lines on and then we'll come back to this and check for leaks and check the timer, make sure everything is looking good on the emitter lines. We did all the shutoff valves on each tree, so all except for three. Three trees do not have a shutoff valve at the moment. It's been about a month since I bought those shutoff valves. Um, I bought what I could. I went back to the store several times. They don't have them. I went back, it's been about a month and I've gone back just now today. They did not have the same shutoff valves or any, any shutoff valves really available. Um, so they, they blame logistics, supply chain, current events. And I have no reason to doubt that. I think, you know, that's probably completely accurate. Just can't get them in. But instead of a shutoff valve, uh, we could go straight from the T uh, the barb tee into the emitter hose, do the spiral. The only thing about that is we'll end up cutting it out later if we want to put it in. So instead what I'm going to do is, uh, I, we, yesterday we just did all the, um, the, the short leaders from the main leader to the tree. And now I'm going to put in, uh, instead of shutoff valves, we're going to do these just straight couplings. So, um, you know, I've got a couple of different ones here, watering system and rainbird. Uh, we'll see which one we like better. Um, but we're just going to go from that small leader hose to the emitter hose with a coupling. That way we can come back later without cutting anything and just swap it out with a, um, a shut off valve. And then we'll keep these for other occasions when obviously you need a coupling. So it shouldn't work out too bad. Um, so my advice would be stockpile. If you're gonna be doing irrigation, you know, keep keep extras on hand, especially uh, you know in today's world, you don't know if it's gonna be available. Um, so just get what you can, start building a little inventory for the things that you're gonna need or possibly need. So let's get started. Let's cut some hose uh, for the emitter and we'll, we'll use three of these for those trees that don't have a, a shutoff valve. Okay, so right now I'm just trying to figure out a predictable pattern here, uh, how I can do this a little bit easier and faster. So right now I'm thinking, so we go one loop, two loops, and then another quarter, and that'd be, that would be right about here. So then if I, we tighten that up, that brings us very much into about three rings. This is about a hand's breadth on either side radius. Just trying to be predictable on the next tree. Here's our new anchor pins. Be careful pushing in those anchor pins. Broken blood vessel. I'm trying to push that with my thumb. Very tempting just to push. Okay, I finally figured out a good technique. Measure one to where you want it. I did around the tree radius of one hand's breadth. And with that hand's breadth, do two and a quarter rounds, or two and a quarter 360s, full circle. And then that way you can spiral it up and it'll be pretty much what I want. So I did one of those and then I measured it by a wingspan. So I stretched out one, two, and it was actually just slightly under three. So I cut all my pieces for that. I should have done that from the beginning, but it didn't dawn on me. Get one the way that you want it, and then you can measure it out by a wingspan. So we're gonna do these. We're gonna wrap up, this is row three. This will wrap us up, and we're gonna put the compression fittings on the ones that we don't have shut off. So I'm gonna go get those right now. Okay, the battery cut out, so hopefully we caught some of row three. Hopefully you get to see that. Uh, but it's the same on each tree, but let's do the last one together. The very last tree, row three, very last one. Okay, folks, it's getting late. Let's do this. 
So whether it's a shut off valve or just a, a straight fitting, uh, I just look in here to make sure that there's no grime, dirt. I did have one with glue. I think it probably came from a sticker somewhere. Good thing it doesn't get into the emitter line. So do check these, uh, see, make sure there's nothing in there. Compression fitting done, super easy. Grab some staples slash anchors slash stakes. Can't seem to figure out which one is the preferred term. Maybe you guys know, I don't know. All right, and then what I'm doing, for better or for worse, is inside out of a spiral instead of outside in. And for me, the I'm doing inside out, so my closest spiral to the tree is the first one. And then I do about, maybe about four inches on the next spiral. I started out using about seven staples per tree, but now I'm just going in a line across and it seems to work fine. If I have extra staples, I can always come back and add more at any later time, but just trying to get this done. And then a staple, not quite to the end, because we want to put on the, the end fitting here to cap it off. Slide that on, bend your hose, and stick it in the other side there. That's easy. Tighten it up. Now one thing I did notice is if you think that these will, might slide off at some point, uh, you could also um, kind of staple in your end fitting there. Uh, just be careful not to poke the holes, but uh, you could block it from coming off by pretty much blocking it on the back side any which way you choose. Uh, so we can just go right over the top there. That'll help that. Just making sure that that's on there straight. There we go. All right, that's it. We're done with this tree. We're done with all the trees with the emitter hose. This is our peach tree. By the way, we did get some peaches this year. This is just a tractor supply tree. The others we got uh, mailed in from Stark Brothers. Uh, but this one we decided just to get one that was already in bloom for kind of miniature size uh, and we did get a few peaches uh, miniature peaches this year off this one so we're very thankful for that all right y'all it's getting late i'm gonna go walk around turn on all the shutoff valves one by one and then run the timer just to check for our leaks what i have to do tomorrow Okay, I turned on the water at the hydrant. I saw a drip, but there is not much leak, so thank God we don't have to do that anymore. Now with the weight of the water, it is sort of pulling and leaning with this weight, so I might just see if I can take the weight off of here somehow at a later date. I don't see any major leaks, so we're gonna run, this is the rain drip, uh, automatic water timer with timed manual mode R675CT. So I'm gonna do a manual mode here before we do any automated stuff. I'm just gonna run a, a manual three minute, or maybe I'm gonna run five minutes and check it. So it's, it should light up running manual and you can hear it. Got a little, need to tighten that up it looks like. Right there. So we'll come back and tighten this. Probably put some tape on that. So, little little water leak right here. We need to tighten up the whole thing with some tape. We lost the hose over here, it blew off. So let's fix this. All right, folks, there's something wrong with, this is our first tree, by the way. Our first tree on uh, probably the highest pressure on the system and it is blowing out this hose. I think these fittings, these fittings may have been slightly oversized. I may need to get a smaller fitting 
for the, the ones closest to the timer. All right, timer's on. Let's turn this on slowly. See what happens. Okay, folks, I turned it back on. Water's running. I'm afraid to touch it. Yeah, I can tell it's slipping already. So this one just, I'm not sure if there's something wrong with this shutoff valve. I don't want any problems, so I think I'm gonna swap this one out. Okay, this is a rain drip compression fitting that I have. Oh, now that's, that is tight. I think our diameters might be a little slightly different on these. <clears throat> Woo. That is tight. All right, let's turn that back on. Okay, we're in business. That fixed it. I, sh I need to go back and check whether these diameters are... This was a different brand than uh, Rainbird and Raindrip, so... I'm trying to fit uh, compatible parts here, and plus this may just be a bad one that was manufacturing problems on it. Okay folks, our 12 trees now have water running to them on a timer. We just have to set that timer for tomorrow. It'll be a first go, um, but everything's working. I run manual mode a couple times. Um, everything's working, everything's looking good. Emitters are emitting. We took care of the one shutoff valve that was giving us trouble. No leaks, everything's closed up. We're done. Um, leave us a comment. Uh, give us a like and a subscribe. Let me know if you've done something similar. Let me know what you're doing in your yard and uh, If you have any tips for me, I've done a little quarter inch irrigation before but not much uh, So this is my first time uh, doing all this half inch uh, tubing. So um, Yeah Let me know in the comments if you have any tips and we'll see you next time on homestead y'all. Thanks for watching